We're providing a roof over the heads for some of the country's most vulnerable kids and teens. That's the new goal of a local LGBTQ advocacy group. Now the team at the LGBTQ Young Adult Shelter of Coastal Georgia hopes to have a fully operating 15 bed shelter by June next Pride Month. Now Lindsay Stinger joins us live now in studio. Now Lindsay, you spoke to the organization's director. What did they have to say today? Yes, Haley, they said that this is going to be the second homeless shelter tailored specifically to the LGBT community in the state, first being in Atlanta. And the president, Eli Irving, has a heart for helping the homeless and saw that there was a need for one here. There's not one in Savannah that is geared specifically to the unique needs of uh, queer young adults uh, and the intersecting marginalized communities. After hearing a cry for help from a trans person during Pride Month this year, Irvin decided to dig deeper into the issue of queer homelessness. Queer youth are 120 times more likely to become homeless uh, because of different reasons, uh, whether that because they are whether that be because they are disowned and put out by their families after they come out, or if they are harmed in community or in job situations, or what have you. Tate Bozeman is a trans man who has seen and felt the threat his community faces when on the street. And they would just throw stuff like that in my face and threaten me, saying if they ever saw me alone, the things that they would do. So it was not very pleasant. It's not safe. Bozeman aged out of the foster care system and has since spent time in and out of a shelter. As a trans person, he recalls watching his friends be targeted just for being different. Um, I did have some friends who were in the community that did have physical. They ended up being hospitalized and stuff like that. Although Bozeman has put himself in a better situation, he fights to help others who may be where he was. I didn't mind coming on here and talking about it because People need help. The shelter is still in the planning phase and has raised over $7,000 to cover with some of the costs that get of getting a shelter started. Live in the studio, Lindsay Stanger, WTOC News.